Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and today I'm just making some chicken noodle casserole. I found this in this on Pinterest, and I thought it looked really good. I just have some egg noodles in here, and I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken soup. So I'm just opening that up. I'm gonna plop that right inside. Ugh. I don't like putting a fork or a spoon in the can. I don't know why. It just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. I do have a small little spatula thing. Ugh. I don't know why that just gives me the creeps, but it does. But I'm just taking the can. And then you also need about a half a cup of milk. I was just going to add it to the can, but I think I'll just pour some in here. And I'm just eyeballing. I actually have a little bit, just a little bit left in here, so I'm just going to use it all. I'm going to go ahead and mix that. I did cook and drain my noodles. And then to this, I'm going to add about a cup of frozen peas. And I just happen to have some left over from the beef stroganoff I made the other, not beef stroganoff, the shepherd's pie I made the other day. I think I did a foodie Friday on that last week. So I'll put that in here. And you need <clears throat> about a cup of cheddar cheese in here or whatever kind of cheese you like. But I'm gonna save some from this bag, which had already been opened, but I'm gonna put that on top as well. And I'm just mixing as I go in no particular reason. I could just add it all and then do it. I'm not gonna add any salt, but I am gonna add some pepper. You could add salt if you want. And I had some rotisserie chicken left over, so I'm going to use that. The recipe actually said to use a can of chicken, so you could use that too if you had it. I'm probably going to use, I don't know, about a cup, a cup and a half of chicken because I'm sure that the can of chicken had way less. So this is going to be a little a little more chickeny than what the recipe called for, but it's also going to have a little more milk, so I think it's fine. So egg noodles, cream of chicken chicken, cheddar, milk, and peas, and that is it. So I'm going to spray my baking dish, and I just have a, I think it's an eight by eight. And I'm going to just put all of this in that. And I do have my oven preset at 375. I'm going to let this cook for about half an hour. And on top, I'm going to put some potato chips and a little more cheese. So, mmm, this is definitely a comfort food. This is definitely not a healthy anything, but it'll be tasty. And sometimes you just need that. It looks really good. Get all of it out of here. And I'm just using some good old ruffles. And I'll do a couple handfuls, I think. This is why I didn't add salt. <laughs> I think I got most of the big pieces. Okay. Wash. I just kind of rinsed my hands and I'm going to put this rest of this cheese on top of here. 
brush it's a little more than I expected so maybe I should have put the chips on top of the cheese hmm I wonder how that'll be maybe I'll put some more chips on top if it doesn't seem to be going okay but I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in my oven and I'll be back well here it is fresh out of the oven and I think that the potato chips are still crispy enough I don't think I'm gonna worry about more I think that'll be good so I'll plate it up and take a picture. Let you know how it tastes in the description box below.